If you've watched any of our OS tips, you know that a bunch of these come out of questions I get in our live training. Well, this one's no exception. Can I get the name of a taxonomy term in the title of a contextual block? Now, if that doesn't make any sense, watch on, it will. And the answer, of course, is, well, yes. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And in this week's episode, we are covering the topic of a contextual view, which is when I'm looking at a node with a particular taxonomy term, like a blog post that has a category or a business that has a category, show me all the other businesses or news items that are in the same category. That's a contextual view. It's a pretty simple one. We do it in our training. I'm going to show it to you in just a minute. But the trick is, can I get the name of the taxonomy term from the current node in the title of the block? Well, that's what this is all about. Let's take a look. I'm over here at my personal blog, and you're looking at a blog post about Drupal as a URL shortening service. This is an OS tip I did a little while ago. We also have a class on it at OS Training. Well, this is filed under Drupal. That's a taxonomy term for the category of this blog post. These are all the other blog posts that have been tagged with the word Drupal at least 10 at a time. So this is what's called a contextual view. And if you've never done one, again, just attend one of our trainings and you'll find out how to do it. Well, I've got a quick little demo site here where I've created a content type called business directory. And it's filtered by all of the categories of the businesses on my site, automotive, government, grocery, etc. So I can filter by grocery, click apply. And I've got all of the nodes that are in the business directory content type that use a grocery taxonomy term for the category. Clicking on one then is going to bring up this contextual block view that lists all of the other nodes that are in the grocery category. In other words, all the other grocery businesses in town. But you'll look and see that the actual term is being used in the title. Let's take a look and see how I did it. I'm going to edit the view. And again, I'm not going to cover contextual filters here. What I'm interested in is how on earth did I get that in the title? The first thing I did was added the field that houses the taxonomy term from the content type, and that is business category. I excluded it from the display because I didn't want it showing up, but I clicked on rewrite results, override the output, and then came down to replacement patterns. Now you don't need the token module for this, but you do need the twig code here for field business category. That's the machine name of my business category taxonomy term field. Copy that. Again, I'm just editing the block here. Head up to the title and insert that twig code right into the title field. So other, etc. businesses. And that's it. Now, when I am on any business in my site, I'm seeing the term right there in the title. But if I go back over just to prove the point and go to the automotive category, other automotive businesses are listed there for me. That's a pretty cool little tip. What it does is it adds a level of customization that your site visitors will really appreciate. They may not even notice it, to be honest, but it's something subconsciously that's going to help them find other content on your site. And it's one little enhancement that can actually make a pretty big difference. Well, thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name is Rod Martin. Hey, would you like, subscribe? If you've got any suggestions, any improvements, hey, throw them in a comment below. We'd sure appreciate it. We'll see you next time.